So right now we are reserving a certain number of acre feet of water per year from CAP water or recharging our groundwater. Or what is that number and how are we reserving that water? Uh, so at this time, the town has an allocation of 10,305 acre feet a year. Okay. We, can, I, can I interrupt real quick? How does that, um, you mentioned that the Colorado River is over allocated by 1.2 million a year. So how does our allocation fit in with the Colorado River's over allocation? This is something I've been wondering about. Well, so what that means is the, and, uh, Pardon me if I don't answer the, the, the question, Sorry. Council Member Barrett. Go I have ahead. every intention to try to. Um, the original hydrology of the Colorado River was overestimated. It was estimated at uh, as a 15 million acre foot per year system for the upper and lower basin states. It turns out that estimation was 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 too high. It isn't that much um, water, you know, and 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 the communities or the uh, Colorado River users have entered into the contracts with Bureau of Reclamation and, and so on and so forth. Basically, they sold more water than they had, and now we ended up with what we call a structural deficit. Um, because Oro Valley is a municipality user, municipality users are have a higher uh, priority uh, in the hierarchy of the, of the Colorado or the Central Arizona Project system. So. Be just because we're a municipality, we have a higher priority, we're cut last. Um, Oral Valley came into the game pretty early, but I, I, I don't think, I don't know how to answer how we contributed okay. to the, over the structural deficit. Okay, but so how are we um, saving our water now? Sorry so, I interrupted you earlier. No, so right now, uh, of the central, we purchase our full allotment every year and the water that we don't deliver, the water that we don't use, and I won't get into too specifics because it's not necessary right now, the water we don't use to replace the groundwater we pump, we store it in Tucson waters, uh, central Aver Valley and uh, southern Aver Valley uh, storage facilities. We store it in Pima Mine Road. We store it in the lower Santa Cruz. And we also have um, uh, contracts with local farmers where uh, we let them use our CAP water, and in the event there is a shortage, we get their groundwater in, in an equal amount. So, uh, but roughly we store 3,000 acre feet a year, and we've been doing that for you know a decade. Okay, so at the point that Oro Valley reaches build out 3,700 more homes within our boundaries, plus this additional. Um, potential project, will we still be able to save any water or does this project use that CAP water that we're so, currently saving? Council Member Barrett, using my current um, water resource model, and, and we have enough water resource to take our existing town limits to build out. We have enough water resource to take an annexation of this type, you know, 3,500 homes. I think the report said uh, 940 acre feet per year. I had estimated 1,000 acre feet per year, but we have enough water to serve an annexation of this type. Like I said, with our current water resource model, um, we would probably store, you know, maybe uh, 1,500, 1,000 acre feet a year, maybe 1,000, 1,500. Depends on, you know, what the pic final picture looks like. But yes, we would be storing yes because we're storing less because we're utilizing more. Right, okay. And then um, you were teaching us earlier about how the more our water is balanced between CAP and groundwater as a community, the more our rates cost due to the higher cost of CAP water. So since this project would be entirely served with CAP water, would that affect the mix of water in the entire community of Oro Valley and the water rates throughout Oro Valley due to the um, percentage of water that CAP water being raised? So the, the least expensive, I think I understand the question, so I'm gonna just explain my answer to the, you can decide sure. if I did, yeah. uh, Council Member Barrett. 
Um, the least expensive water we have is groundwater. And we've been re reducing our groundwater pumping, you know, every year. In fact, in 2018, we had our groundwater pumping to a level that, a low level that we've never seen before since the water utility existed. And that's because we're using additional CAP water. CAP water is more expensive uh, than groundwater. So existing uh, customers right now, they're, yeah, they're paying more for the resource because we're preserving and protecting that groundwater. I think what you're saying is, okay, if we bring, if we use another thousand acre feet per year in 20 years or whatever for CAP water, is the cost of that spread amongst all customers? And, and the answer would be yes. Yes, okay. Do you have any projections of how much or what percentage that would cost water rates to rise? I know that um, that would be difficult to do given we don't know how much CAP, CAP water will be cut back or re will rise. Yeah, Councilmember Barrett, because of the unknowns at, at this point and the uncertainty of the, the future costs, I, I don't have a good number for you at this time. I mean, I could, I could game it out, but at this time, I don't have an answer for you. 